It's a lot easier to accomplish your dreams and goals when you see somebody who looks like you or when you see someone who might have a similar background. You're like, if they did it, I can do it. I'm Jason Collins, retired NBA basketball player and current NBA Cares ambassador. I would describe myself as driven, but also more competitive. <laughs> and knowing that with team success will come individual success. When I decided to come out publicly and made history with the Brooklyn Nets in 2014, yes, there was a lot of media attention. And then after the first 12 games, it became, okay, wait, how's the team doing? Because that's what it's all about. And we were 10 and two. If anything, my story and my circumstance helped bring our team together. And that's what happens on a good team, is like everybody rallies around each other. And my teammates and my organization, the Brooklyn Nets, rallied around me. It was overwhelmingly supportive. And, and I've lived all over the country and, and received so much support that it, it really was overwhelming at times. I go back to when I was a kid and I was looking for those role models. And when I was in high school and like trying to figure out who I am, I got to be on the welcoming committee that welcomed back one of our famous alums, Sally Ride, first female American astronaut, went to my high school. But I didn't find out that she was gay until her obituary. So when I was you know, debating whether to come out, part of my discussions with my family was that moment that was missed with me and with Sally Ride. And I, I totally get everybody's on their own to end up with, you know, you know life of non-disclosure, I understand that. But for me, that's not who I am. And I didn't want someone to find out that I was gay from my obituary. The day that I publicly came out, it was a Monday, and I got back-to-back -back calls from Oprah Winfrey and President Barack Obama. So that's a little bit different than other people's public coming out. And part of me was thinking, what, like getting pranked right now? Is this really happening? And sure enough, uh, President Obama got on the phone and he offered words of support. And he said that my actions today will have a positive impact on someone that I might not ever meet. I think that is the goal. I do believe when you are a public figure, you have an opportunity to impact someone's life. I think everything happens for a reason. You, know, you sort of you know, find meaning and beauty in everything, and it's all worked out. <laughs> so, <laughs> no complaints.